Hi there, I'm Michelle Martin Johnson and I'm here with Roy Bianca Lana. And Roy, I'd like to ask you, from your experience, what is one common challenge or block that keeps people from being ready for the relationship that they so deeply desire? Mm, great, great question. And I love that it's just one common block. Keep it simple. Life is complicated. And here it is. The most common block across the board is how you have dealt with your past relationships. Your past pain is in there. Memories, wounds, scars from being betrayed, misled, deceived, dumped, hurt, divorced, whatever it might be. It's normal. It's natural to have some scars, to have some scar tissue. Except that when you're still carrying that, when it's sort of still alive in you, and how do you know if it is? If you have difficulty with trust, if you're a bit suspicious, if you're a bit sort of wondering about someone's motives, if you're quick to pull back, quick to react, and your mind immediately tells stories and says, well, they said that, it must mean that, right? So the fear that you feel, if you feel fear, tells you that you have something from the past because you can't be afraid of something that's never happened to you. <laughs> right? so, so if you have fear, that means you're holding on to something from the past. You've got some baggage and we all have baggage. That's not the problem. The problem is what do we do with it? So learning to let go of your past because if you don't, you project it onto the new person, right? So for instance, let's say some woman has had five relationships in her life and all five of the guys have cheated on her, okay? And then she bumps into me at a grocery store, even though I'm, let's just use me, even though I'm married. She bumps into me, I say, hey, my name is Roy, how are you? What is she gonna think that I'm gonna do if she was to open her heart to me? You're gonna cheat on me too, right? Now, that's not fair to me. I'm not those guys. I might be a really good guy, and I might not be that kind, but she might not be able to see me that way. She's wearing a set of glasses that are clouded by her past, and she can't see me for who I am. She's seeing me through her past, and it's projected on me. Now, I, as a guy, can feel the fear. I can feel maybe she makes our relationship go too slow. Or maybe she just holds me an arm's distance. Or maybe she appears shy or a bit distant. Or maybe I'm thinking she's emotionally available. And maybe none of that's true. It's just that you're scared of being hurt again. I don't know why, but I can feel some sort of wall. Well, I don't bring a sledgehammer with me on a date. I'm not here to break down walls. I want to meet an open, available heart. And if yours isn't open, I'm going to go find the girl who is. Okay? So you got to deal with the past. You got to be honest about what you've been hanging on to. We've all been hanging on to stuff. And then you need to go through the process. What does it mean to let that stuff go so that I can meet the next person with a clean emotional slate? That's what I'm all about as a coach. And that's the most important thing for your love life. Mm -hmm. So, Roy, I think you may have already kind of answered this in the context of the first question, but what would you say is the most powerful thing that someone can do to be ready for the relationship of their dreams? Yeah. Kind of the same, yeah. different side of the same coin right. here. And I'll say it a little different. The most, most powerful thing you can do for your future relationships is not think that I wasn't talking about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the tendency is, oh, yeah, Roy, you're right. You're, all my girlfriends are like that and all the people are like that. Oh, yeah, all those guys have all that, but, but not me. No, no, I'm, I'm over my past. Yeah, I had some difficult things, but I'm over it. I'm, I beg you don't do that. To be let go of the past, hmm, you, you would be in a relationship. That's how powerful your past is. Your past is keeping you single. So... The most important thing you can do is not, don't deceive yourself that that's not an issue to look at. I'm not saying that you've got some huge block that's going to take you years to get over. 
because you were abused when you were a child. By the way, all those childhood stuff that happens, that contributes. You think if you weren't raised by an idiot father, an alcoholic father, or abused or mistreated as a child, that that doesn't affect your ability when you stand face to face with another man? Are you kidding me? Right? But, it, but that doesn't mean that you're broken in some big way. It just means that maybe I need to learn some techniques on how to just make the past be the past. Learn the lessons from it. That's one of the things you can do. What are the lessons that the past was in my life to teach me? In other words, can I take what's valuable from being deceived, dumped, divorced, ghosted? What can I learn? How can I grow from that? But the rest of it, you let go. It's like eating a meal. You eat a bunch of food, your body knows to keep the good stuff, and then you go to the bathroom and get rid of the stuff that it doesn't need. But in our emotional lives, we don't do that. <laughs> we take it all in and we keep it. We, we keep all the SH dot dot in us, and then it poisons our future. So you have to know, what do I keep? What do I let go of? And how do I do that? And when you're committed to that past, that path about your past, then you're going to find that all of your relationships are going to get better, not just your intimate ones. Thank you so much, Roy. And those of you that are listening, uh, be sure to listen to my full conversation with Roy, and you can find out more about Roy by going to coachingwithroy.com, right? Cool. All right. Thank you so much. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.